Hey guys, Roman Trust here with Mission Forge, and today, guys, uh, no forging. Unfortunately, the ceiling above my forge, everything was starting to collapse. I had to move all my equipment, everything out of the way, and you know, redo the ceiling up uh, above my forge and stuff like that. So, no forging today. Hopefully, next video we'll get back to it. But I want to answer a question that I see sometimes on blade forums and blacksmith forums and groups and stuff like that. And that question is, when can I start making a knife? So there are a couple of questions I see a lot, and this is one of them, and there's another question I'm gonna answer on another video, um, but uh, I'm gonna break them down. But this one is, when can I start making a knife? So, well, there are three ways to make a knife, okay? One is you get a, a, a kit, and it comes with the knife already shaped and everything else like that, and comes with the pins and all that fun stuff, the scales. Those you can do right away. You don't need any skill to do those. You just go ahead and do it right away. The other one's, uh, stock removal. That's when you get like a flat piece of steel like this and then you just put uh, the design on here. You either draw it on, inlay it on, then you cut it out or grind it out. All right. And then you then, you know, drill the holes in the tang, harden, temper it, put the bevels on, put the scale and stuff on. Those as well you can do right away. You don't need to, to wait or something like that. You can do those right away. But the third way is forging your blade. Now, no matter if you buy a kit, stock removal, or forge a blade, about two thirds of the knife making process is the same, okay? Um, once the blade has been shaped and designed, the rest of the knife making process is exactly the same. But forging that blade though, that's, that's where it changes. And that's where I usually tell people, if you're first starting out blacksmithing, don't make a knife, okay? Don't make a sword, don't make a rocket engine, okay? You want to start with simple blacksmithing projects. And those projects are going to be something like bottle openers, um, you know, Celtic hairpins, uh, like leaves or leaf keychains. Leaves as in like, you know, leaf on a tree. Um, you want to be able to, uh, uh, you know, do those projects first. And the reason being is, is there's several reasons. I'm going to go through them very quickly. One is going to be they're not as time consuming, okay? To make a forge, to forge a blade, can take sometimes several days depending on the type of blade you're making okay you know these projects you can knock out if you're first starting out to make your first leaf might take you two hours but after you do a handful of them take you 10 minutes okay so you would rather mess up on something that doesn't require as much time and dedication as a knife blade would so that's the first reason you want to start there hey if you mess up making a leaf you only lost out 10 minutes no big whoop right Plus, mild steel is a lot cheaper than high carbon steel. So that's the thing. You find mild steel everywhere. High carbon steel, you got a special order. All right, so you really want to, to do those for those reasons right there. Now, another reason why you want to go ahead and do these uh, projects is that it teaches you basic blacksmithing skills and fundamentals, okay? You're going to learn how to forge. You're going to learn how to hammer, you know, hammer techniques and control. You're going to learn how to draw the steel out, make it longer, how to spread it, make it wider, how to draw uh, a taper, a point on it, how to drift, you know, put a hole in it, how to, uh, you know, how the metal reacts when it's getting, you know, getting to a certain temperature, how if you hit a certain things, it causes it to curve and warp, how to handle those, how to handle cold shots, how to do set downs, how to do uh, offsets. You're going to learn all these things by doing those beginner blacksmithing projects. So, by do so you should really learn though how to do those before you do it uh, make a knife because if you get your first knife the next day you know you're putting deep hammer marks and you accidentally put a cold shot at the tip when you're trying to make the point you're doing all these things you're you're having a hard time with it you know you really don't want to you don't want to mess up those blades another thing too is is these bla uh, beginner blacksmithing projects are not only they pretty easy you get them done that day and it gives you a sense of accomplishment. You know, uh, we want you, I want you to be able to come back and blacksmith more. I want you to get excited about it. I want you to stay involved in it, all right? You know, if you are expecting to be able to forge a blade out in three hours because you watch Forge and Fire, which it can be done, um, but you're just starting out and it didn't get done in three hours and it looks like dog doo-doo, well, yeah, you just started out. So it's not gonna, it's, it's going to probably make you lose your motivation, and I don't want that to happen. I don't want you to set your standards way up here because you don't know any better, and it's not your fault. You've got to learn. Doing these beginning blacksmith projects is going to help you learn how to do that. All right. So maybe your first leaf keychain takes you two hours to make, 
But by the time you get to number 15, you know, as long as you do them in a row, right? By the time you get to number 15, it'll probably take you 10, maybe 15 minutes because you've learned how to properly forge it out by that point, hopefully. So I usually tell a lot of new smiths, here's what you should do. Do three or four beginner blacksmithing projects, okay? You want to do, if you're a hobbyist, a hobbyist is the key here. If you're a hobbyist, a person who just does it maybe on the side, it's not something you're making a living off of, you want to be able to be able to make, uh, you know, 12 to 20 of these. And the last five, you should be able to do it in 10 to 15 minutes. So the last five of each of these projects. So if you made 20 leaf keychains, the last five, you should have been able to do it about 10 to 15 minutes without rushing. So you shouldn't feel like you're going against the clock. You know, give or take a few minutes. If it took you 17 minutes, no big deal. But it should take you about 10 to 15 minutes. Can you make them, the last five look pretty darn close uh, or, or, you know, to being identical? We know they're not going to be identical because they're handmade, but are they pretty darn close to looking exactly the same? You know? And are there like you know, only a few, like three or less minor mistakes? We're not talking cracks or cold shots. We're talking like the vein on the, on the one leaf is at a wrong angle. Uh, you put this little curl in the leaf that you wanted but it's not quite right or some of the stems a little too thick those kind of minor mistakes that we're talking about spend a month you know on your weekends when you're forging spend a month and do some of these beginning blacksmithing projects first you know when you complete it you're going to feel more like you you are more successful you uh, are you sorry when you complete each project at least you know let's say for every you know, bottle opener you make, you're like, man, look at this bottle opener. How cool is that? You made a little trinket. People love trinkets. You can give those away. Um, you're going to have a sense of accomplishment. You're going to feel proud. And guess what? You're, you're teaching yourself and you're investing yourself in proper blacksmithing techniques and stuff like that. Um, so, and then you're going to stay interested and invested in blacksmithing. So those are what I recommend. Now, if you're going to do this as a professional, you need to do each of these projects about a hundred times. Okay. Um, there's a whole reason behind it. I'm not going to get into that right now, but that's going to be about it for today, guys. So with that, guys, Hopefully I answered your questions. Stock removal and uh, kits start right away. Forging, do a few projects first. Do about 12 to 20 of them first before you start blacksmithing uh, or forging out the blades. And then you should be good to go. With that, guys, hope you found this video entertaining, helpful, educational, all that fun jazz. If you have, go ahead, hit that like button. Also, got any comments or suggestions, leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell for more notifications. With that, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.